Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is deter, uh, show you how to determine if a mapping is a representation of a function. Now, remember, a function is basically just a relation where every single input uniquely maps to one output. Now, previously, a lot of times we kind of um, mix around input with x values and output with y values. And that's helpful when you're using a table or a coordinate point. However, in the mapping, basically, you can think of these as like coordinate points. You, you know, here's your input, here's your output. So basically. 1 maps to 4. And that's basically the representation. But they're showing is 1. So if you have your input, and then your output is going to be 4. Now remember, for it to be a function, every single one of my inputs has to uniquely map to an output. And the kind of the trick to this one is if you have your inputs, if any of your inputs go to different y puts, then you can say that they're not uniquely mapping. Like, right, my input, you know, for instance, if 1 is uniquely going to 4. 1 does not go to any other output. 7 uniquely goes to negative 2. 7 is not going to any other output. 8 uniquely goes to 11. No other number is 8 going to. 9 goes to 3. 11 goes to 8. So therefore, this is a function. In the next example, here this one gets to a lot of students because you can see 8 goes to 2, 10 goes to 2, 12 goes to 2. But guess what? That's OK. You can have the same input or different inputs going to the same output as long as they're uniquely going there. 8 is not going anywhere else besides 2. 10 is not going anywhere else besides 2. 12 is not going anywhere else besides 2. Right? As, if, as long as they're not going to different outputs, then it's going to be a function. So this is a function. OK. So in this example here, you can see that 6 uniquely goes to 0. Negative 7 uniquely goes to negative 1. However, 8 does not uniquely go to negative 1. It's not because negative 7 goes to negative 1, but it's because 8 goes to negative 1 and 8 goes to 1. You can't have the input going to different outputs. That is not going to be, or for it to be, a function. So remember, input uniquely, that means 1 uniquely goes to an output. So since 8 cannot go to negative 1 and positive 1, so therefore this is not a function. And then if we look over here, we have input output. Okay, You can see then, again, my 1 does not uniquely go to 3, because it goes to 3 and it goes to 4. 2 does not uniquely go to 5. Uniquely goes to 5, or it goes to 5 and goes to 6. So since it's not uniquely mapping from input to your output, it's not a function. And there you go.